Hey everyone, John here back on the YMC Arc server. And uh, I'm going to show you guys today how to get through the snow cave in what I believe to be the easiest way to do so. Um, I've tried a saber tooth uh, and taken it through the, the snow cave here. I bred this one and walked it through the entrance here. And then leveled it up off of uh, Karuku and um, bats and stuff like that. And uh, it's still actually pretty weak compared to the yetis that are in here. And you can see a bunch of them piled up over there. Um, but this cave, you're really going to want to utilize the use of grapple hooks. So um, I'm going to take you through on foot the way that I've been getting through the cave so far. So as you come out of the entrance here, I've made, you can see I placed a, a metal dino gate there. Um, that's just to seal off everything that's in there. So I would come right here and just go ahead and start jumping across here. I uh, hit the water a little bit. You cannot hit the water because it will damage you uh, quite a bit. Okay. So you'll just want to come down through this way and start going down the, uh, the pathway here. Now you can see that this pathway is smoothed over. You can, actually, you can actually tell where they intended you to go. Now, I bypass quite a bit of the cave using the grapple hooks. So I'm going to show you where exactly I've been bypassing part of the cave at. And hopefully it'll help you out too. You can see there's a wolf right over there. So I've been coming around this way, making sure that he, that wolf isn't following me. Over here to the, um, you'll come around this this area over here to this uh, this waterfall. Normally you would go down through that way and then take a right, and there is a pathway that leads all the way down. But if you come over here you can see the pathway leads right down through there and then you're supposed to uh, play hopscotch over the uh, the stones here to get across well there's no need to do that if you want to take your grapple hook whoops and just use your grapple hook and you can see there's a yeti right down there see they want you to come across these stones and go all the way around and up this pathway. But you can switch grapple hooks in midair. Drop, use the next grapple hook, and you're good to go. And then crouch off of it. And make sure you reload your grapple hooks after you do this. That's very important. You're probably going to get in situations where you need to use uh, several grapple hooks at once to, to get across. Alright, so I'm going to have to eat here. Uh, it is pretty extreme conditions in this cave. You're definitely going to have to bring a lot of food, blood packs, and medical brews is what I would uh, recommend for sure. Woo! There's a flying wolf. Alright, so you're going to take the path going up here, past all the crystals and everything. Okay, so now we come to this part of the cave. They want you to go down this pathway. Make sure that wolf isn't coming after us. They want you to come down this pathway and go around through there. And uh, it looks pretty clear, so I'm going to actually go ahead and do that. Okay, so whenever you get to this point here, you can do one of two things. You can either go right and go down through the, uh, the middle there, or you can go left and go up and over. So with the grapple hooks, I would suggest going left. That way you can see what's coming at you because sometimes stuff will drop on you in this cave and that is just not good at all. So what you're going to have to look for, out for in the cave is obviously Onik, Yetis, and Dire Wolves. And then if you get in the water, Mega Piranha and Angular Fish. But it, to be honest, if you get in the water, you're probably going to die anyway, especially if you get it uh, at any point in the water that is... Uh, uh, deep. So I'm going to go ahead and aggro these Onik here and get them to come over to me and uh, kill them with, uh, with the uh, compound bow that I have here. Now this is a pr pretty strong compound bow and I'll, I'll go over that right now. So the compound bow that I'm using is a Mastercraft and I got this from the Deep Sea Loot Crates. Actually, Timmy Carbine got it for me and uh, gave it to me. He has a, an ascended one that he got. 
And uh, that is what I'm using for most of the attacking. If you saw my uh, Swamp Cane video, uh, you, you noticed that, uh, or I told you that that's what I was using in there as well. Um, the reason I'm not going for the uh, brute force attack and just killing everything in this cave is simply because it is so long of a cave that all right so you saw that I come across right there and you can make this jump but you'll get hurt if you do that so it's really best not to do that just go ahead and grapple and uh, grapple your way across and that's the best method there okay but the reason you don't want to do a uh, brute force attack and just come through here and wipe everything out is on the way back out stuff will have already respawned and you'll have to kill it all over again so the best thing to do and I'll show you this later on in the video is to get stuff stuck in the water and just leave it there and uh, I'll show you what I've done and how I've done that later on alright there's some more onic up here I'm gonna go ahead and aggro this guy and get him to come at me this is the best best method to deal with the bats for sure and by the way a primitive combo would work just as well for this uh, obviously it won't have as much damage but it's it's pretty good okay so you can see we've got a yeti and a wolf uh, a few wolves right here. Now, I don't know if there's anywhere that we can aggro these guys. Well, it's going to have to happen now anyway. Okay, so in situations like this, this is definitely going to happen to you. Uh, the best, The best way to deal with this is... to just pull your other grapple hooks out and basically grapple your way across just like so and I'm gonna get them stuck right over there in that water and they did hit me a little bit but that's okay let's go for that point right there alright <laughs> just shy of it okay well it looks like we are definitely going to have to kill these guys. All right, let me go ahead and kill these guys, and I'll be right back. You're definitely going to want to want to bring uh, plenty of arrows for this as well. I mean, you're just going to have situations like this that uh, are going to be unavoidable, and you're going to have to kill the stuff. And as far as outrunning everything, you can definitely outrun the Gigantos and the Onik, but you cannot outrun the Wolves. Okay, and we're back from that mess. So, um, I do have one of the uh, wolves stuck in the water. Right there he is. And I uh, really don't want to get too close to him. But that's what you want to do. You want to try to get the, di the uh, everything in here stuck in the water. That way you can pass through just, uh, like, super easy. And I've already killed an Onik back there. I've already came up through here just to see if there were any more Onik. And uh, we are pretty much clear and good to go. There is one stuck under the... Uh, <laughs> under the map there I don't know why but this is the artifact right here we're finally to the artifact artifact of the strong this is the easiest method that I can I can come up with at least by yourself uh, getting through the cave now if you had a team I haven't had the guys with me uh, today but if you had a team you could definitely get through this cave um, powerhouse in your way through no problem I, I believe but um, you definitely want to watch your food and everything. My food uh, is dropping pretty fast because it's super cold down, down here toward the end of the cave. Let me go ahead and jump across and I'll see if we can't make it to the end of the cave again uh, without dying. <laughs> so jump across the water, come back up through here. There may be some stuff that's respawned up here. Like I said, this stuff respawns fairly quick. There's a wolf. I don't know why they're running the other way. And this crystal's respawned here, too. Alright, so I'm going to switch to this. Let's see if we can hit that point up there, but I, maybe not. This could be deadly for me. We'll hit that point. That'll work just fine. Okay, next one, we'll go... 
right here. And then our last one. And you may want to bring more grappling hooks than what I've brought. I've brought four with me. Or four crossbows, I should say. But, uh, yeah, more would definitely be good. But you got to have spots for all your food and everything as well. All right, so let's go ahead and reload all of these and get set up and ready to go on throughout the rest of the cave. There we go. All right, continue down the path. And this was the path that I said it, it forks. And you can either go down through the bottom or up through the top. Oh, there's a Gigantto following us. <laughs> and you definitely want to go up to the top. I think that's the easiest way to go. <laughs> Let's just get pe away from him. <laughs> All right, cool deal. See how easy this is to get through here with the grapple, though? That uh, The grapple, they must have planned this out. Uh, coming through here with the grapple hooks and everything. Uh, it has to be planned. Alright, down through here. Alright, I'll have to mine my way out of this. I don't want to use any more of my grapples to get through here. This is the thing. You, you will have to mine your way through uh, some of this to get through it. So let's go ahead and switch back to the grapple. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and use this in a medical brew. Eat some food. Alright, so we have a Yeti right there, but that's not too big of a deal. We'll go ahead and grapple to... Uh, well, let's just grapple to that. There we go. Alright, and we'll just run up through this path here. Hopefully there's nothing around the turn. Alright, we're good. Good to go. Okay, now you could go up through here, but remember I didn't go up through this way last time. There's a wolf there, uh, just as I'm speaking. So I'm going to go ahead and grapple my way up to this waterfall here. And remember, this is where we grappled down at to begin with. See all the wolves and stuff over there? Okay, and this is the waterfall that we first came to. That stuff isn't following me, is it? No. Okay. I just pooped myself. <laughs> Okay, now there's a Yeti and some bats here, but we're remember, we're pretty close to the end. So I'll tell you what we're going to do in a situation like this. I'm going to go ahead and aggro the Yeti onto us, get him to follow us this way. Oh, there's two of them. This may work out just fine. There's three of them. Woo! I do not want to get hit by those guys. I'm just going to let them fall into this water. This was the method that I was talking about before. Haha, <laughs> you would stop there, wouldn't you? No, you, you come over this way. Okay. And now we're just going to grapple our way back out. Okay, all right, let's get our grapple hook back out. And there's some wolves over there, and they're probably going to try to aggro on us, but I think we're going to try to run through here anyway. They did aggro on us, but it's okay. We're just going to make our way up through here. And we're back at the end, and here we are. All right, so jump across this, and we've made it. Anyway, guys, this was what I believe to be the quickest method to get through this cave uh, by yourself. Now, with a team, like I said, you could have a bunch of uh, the uh, compound bows and make your way through it. I think just fine, uh, just powerhousing your way through like we did in the swamp in my video, uh, my other video. But um, I hope this was helpful to you guys. You should definitely, even in a team, utilize the grapple hooks for sure. And uh, hopefully you get a, a better idea of where the artifact is. It's pretty far into the cave. Um, it By the time you get to one end of the cave, the stuff on the other end will respawn. So you are going to have to look out for that. Um, but yeah, hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, give me a th thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you liked it. And as always, I thank you for watching.